Hey, I'm Sharon Vakin from CNET.com here to walk you through Google Music for Android. With Google Music, you can access all your music across multiple devices and computers without burdening your phone or computer storage. Basically, the music is stored on Google servers and played back over Wi-Fi or your cell network to your phone. To get a Google Music account, go to music.google.com slash music and request an invite. Google is slowly rolling this beta software out, so be patient. Once you've been invited, you'll be able to access the Google Music web interface in the browser and download the Music Manager for your desktop. Music Manager will copy all the music on your computer to Google servers and make it all available on your Android phone or tablet when you're not at home. But even without an invite, you can still download the Android app and get to know the interface. Go to the Android market and search for music. It's the app with the headphones icon. Once it's downloaded and installed, select which Google account you want to use with the app. It's based on what accounts are already connected to your phone. Once you're all set up, the app will automatically load songs from your online library and your phone's internal storage. If you have a huge library because maybe you decided to take advantage of the free storage of 20,000 songs, it might take a while. But once the list is populated, playing music is pretty straightforward. Just tap a song to begin playing it. Or hit the arrow to the right of any song and press play. Here, you'll also see other options. Make an instant mix is Google's answer to Apple's genius feature. If you select it, Google will create a playlist of songs similar to the one you selected. It's nice for when you're on the go, want to dig up old music, or if you just want to let Google work its magic. You can also add a song to a playlist in this menu. You can either add the song to an existing playlist or create a new one. All your playlists are stored in the tab at the top. To create a new one, hit the menu button and select New Playlist. You can rename it and begin adding songs, albums, or artists through the other tabs. Each tab's menu selection is different. It makes the experience a little frustrating, but the main thing you should know is that the Playlist, Albums, and Artist tabs have an option called Make Available Offline. So now that all your music is stored on Google servers, how do you access it when you're not connected to the internet? This is where Make Available Offline comes in. Tap that option and you'll see push bins show up next to the items on the list. Tap the push bins next to the items you want available offline and hit Done. The music is cached onto your phone, so the amount of music you can make available offline depends on how much storage you have. And you can deselect them later to remove them from your phone and free up space. You can check on the download progress by going to Menu, Settings, then Download Queue. There are other useful settings here, too. Take a look around and contact me on Facebook if you have any questions. And look, if you rotate the phone to Landscape, you get a whole different interface. Feel free to choose accordingly. Send your questions, comments, and how-to ideas to howto at CNET.com. And for more handy how-to videos, head on over to CNETTV.com. For CNET, I'm Sharon Vaknin, and I'll see you on the interwebs.